Cyber attacks on consumer data are not new and incidents are rising. The Cybersecurity Agency of Singapore recorded a 154% increase in ransomware attacks in 2020. What makes the recent OCBC phishing attacks stand out is the sophistication and speed at which the attackers moved. This phishing attack was more evolved than previous ones. It had fewer spelling errors in the message, and the attacker used the real bank's phone number, and the link was redirected to the fake website that looked almost the same as the real bank's website. Cyber attackers may track their victims over a period of time, collecting data and building a profile. This makes the scam more targeted and believable to the victim. For the Monetary Authority of Singapore, the attacks highlighted a weak point in the system, clickable links in SMS messages. In the days following the attacks, MAS and the Association of Banks in Singapore announced measures to beef up the security of digital banking services. These include removing clickable links in SMSs or emails sent to customers as well as setting a default threshold of 100 Singapore dollars or lower for funds transfer notifications. ABS hopes that these measures will help banks regain the trust of consumers. In spite of the recent scam, I believe most customers by and large do find and will continue to conduct their daily banking needs online. It is convenient. It is simple, it's easy to use. And the banking infrastructure remains robust, resilient, and the industry will continue to work on combating scams together with the authorities and the digital ecosystem together with our customers. It will take some time for people to internalize how to perform online banking safely, but I know we'll get there eventually. Market players applaud the new measures taken by the regulators and banks but they feel that more can be done. The government needs to consider building an effective threat intelligence sharing system with the industry. I know Singapore government already has a similar system to share the information. However, we may need to advance more about the system to collect more accurate information and any type of symptoms of the potential attacks proactively. While the role of the individual users and bank is more mitigating focus, the government's role is more about the prevention. That's why the, this combined working is so important to avoid a similar type of attack in the future. From a preventive measures point of view, you will look at the organizations putting in place you know, a security controls that could be technical in nature to uh, you know, prevent such uh, you know, OTP exploits from uh, happening which is what we are seeing right now in this case. A detective measure is really around how can you actually timely identify and detect such a, you know, malicious and unauthorized activities that have already occurred more timely. Uh, I think this is really what um, even the regulators have also been uh, putting in place. Some of the measures are already uh, required by financial institutions to have better surveillance or what we call to have surveillance systems to detect such malicious or suspicious activities that have occurred. And while the hardware improves, organizations need to also focus on the software through cybersecurity education for their customers and their staff. The soft element, which is really the people element, is extremely important. And in order to protect ourselves and organizations, I would stress that putting in place um, education program, uh, what we call, you know, protecting the customers, protecting your employees and staff, making sure that they are, you know, better equipped with the necessary uh, resources to be able to differentiate between a fake, um, you know, email or SMS versus a real one. The incident has also raised questions about whether victims can get their money back. OCBC says affected customers will receive full goodwill payouts covering the amount lost. But ABS says 
that the public shouldn't take for granted that this will become the norm. It is not a compensation. OCBC made goodwill payment, uh, made the goodwill payout given the ferocity of this particular scam. A customer should now be more aware of what they need to do to protect themselves. And at the same time, banks are giving uh, up some customer convenience in the delivery of online banking with a slew of new measures that are being undertaken. So I think the goodwill payout will not set a precedence and customers can no longer claim that they are not aware of such scams. And we will advise customers to not take for granted that the goodwill payouts will always be made. And in fact, customers need to continue to be careful, to be diligent and not let their gut down. Thank <laughs> you.